Hi Diamond Painting friends, this is Jessica with Tiny Worlds of Wonder and today we're going to experiment and try to create some cover minders um, for our diamond paintings. So just to warn you in advance, I have not tested this process. We're going to be experimenting together on this. Um, but I was working on my painting the other day. I was having the old familiar thing of um, the paper flopping down over the spot I was trying to work on and then the old familiar problem of not finishing a section but having too many drills on it for the paper to really um, lay nice and flat over the rest of the adhesive I hadn't completed. And I was thinking, wouldn't it be nice to just have some cover minders <laughs> to keep this paper in control? So I was at Joanne's the other day getting some, you know, crafts. I don't remember what it was, but I stumbled on these little buttons from Dress It Up. I found one called Believe in Fairies and one called Backyard Buddies, and they were just too cute. So we're going to see what we can do with these. At Joanne's, I also found some neodymium ring magnets. These are very strong magnets, like so strong that I can put one on one side of my finger and one on the other and they'll stick together. So I think they're going to be good. Um, they do have a little hole down the middle. That's maybe the one, the one downside of these. I know you can get earth magnets on Amazon, um, but this is kind of a whim. So I just went with it. Now, a quick warning to you, if you're a person who has a pacemaker or any condition or issue going on where you've been advised to stay away from strong magnets, I'd stay away from these, this type of magnet. They're pretty strong. They do come with a warning on the label here. So be sure you're aware of that before you embark on this project. Okay, so I have pulled out in preparation some paper towels because we're going to be using this E6000 super strong glue today. And I just had this in my stash. Hopefully it's still good. I've had it in my stash for a while. But I do know that when you take the lid off, it likes to vomit all the glue out onto your surface. So make sure your surface is protected. Um, I got some pliers that my magnets are gonna stick to. <laughs> I got some pliers just to get the lid off the E6000 because it likes to glue itself shut. Um, some wire cutters so I can snip the shanks off the back of those buttons. And then just some scissors. Okay, but let's try it. I wanna experiment first with this, these Believe in Fairies buttons. Hey, I could use the scissors that I got out. <laughs> How about I do that? Oh, all right. These are so cute. Oh my gosh, this looks like a little hobbit house. Frodo Baggins could live in there. Whoops. And then this one has some little purple flowers. So let's, let's start with this guy first. Okay, so I'm going to take my wire cutters and attempt to snip off the shank part of this button and send it flying. We'll just see how close I can get to the shank there, and I'm just gonna see if see if I got it flat enough that I can put my magnets flat on the back. I don't anticipate this being a difficult process, other than just maybe getting this part off because I don't have any really good shank removers. I don't have the perfect tool for this, but we'll see. I could use some sandpaper or something, probably. Yeah, I might try some sandpaper, hold tight. Okay, I also grabbed some smaller wire cutters here. We'll see if I can get in a little closer to the base of my button. It's always a good idea to test these projects out first, but you know, I'm impatient. <laughs> Sometimes I just like to jump in and try stuff. All right. 
That worked a little better. Now I'll come in with my sandpaper and just see if I can take some of the, the really sharp edges off of that. Since these are for my own personal use, I'm not too worried about having this look absolutely perfect. If I was sending it to someone else, maybe I would. I would care a little bit more about how the back looks. Okay, so I'm just trying to get it flat enough that my magnets are gonna sit kind of flat-ish here. Try not to wiggle you too much. Those magnets are so strong, <laughs> holy cow. <laughs> Can't set them near anything metal. I hope you guys are having a great week. I um, just returned from a wonderful little short vacation to the Oregon coast and saw some beautiful sights. I live in the mountains of Montana where we have a lot of beautiful sights as well. But it was so fun to see some different landscapes and some really lush forests. And we actually drove down to the Redwoods in California and just had a lot of fun. This actually looks like it could come apart. So I may, um, as I put glue on, I am going to make sure I put some glue because that shank probably helped to hold the button together. So I am going to put some glue over the shank part there and just make sure that that is going to hold together. All right, I'm going to attempt to get two magnets off of here. And I'm just sort of going to keep these two magnets together while I glue the bottom one down, if that makes sense. So that way I know I don't have to readjust anything and I can let this dry. Um, and it's basically complete. Let it dry in its completed form, more or less. All right. Let's see if I can get some glue out here. Let's put a little bit on the back side of this guy. And my glue's gonna vomit out there. <laughs> Just keep going. Stick a couple of these on the back. And like I said, I made sure I, I put that glue right where the shank would have been, just so I can hopefully keep this together. And I think, I think that's all there is to it. So yeah, I'm gonna set that aside to dry. Let the E6000 do its work while it explodes here all over my desk. All right. Let's do another one. That was so fun. So here's what I learned from the first one. If you can, get down really close to that shank the first time. So maybe angle in a little bit. And the smaller the tip on your wire cutter, the better. So let's see if we can just angle these little nips down into that. Ah, see, yeah, now it's already flat. Sometimes you gotta do a couple and then you learn, right? So did that make sense? Angle your, angle your pliers just slightly downward. So tip them down so that you can kind of have a little scooping action to get that shank really flat. Okay, that was super easy. No sanding needed on that one. Pull a couple of these apart. Grab my puking glue. And again, I'm gonna stick some right over the shank part there just to kind of hold that together while I glue my magnets on. This is stringy if you get a little on your fingers. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at it, it's a little hobbit house, a little hobbit door. Okay, 
Well, that was much easier. I'll set that aside to dry. Now remember when these are drying, keep them kind of far apart because <laughs> you don't want them to snap together. All right, I think some of these are maybe a little too small for my purposes. So I'm just gonna set those aside and I'm gonna dig into these backyard buddies. These are adorable. So in this package we have a raccoon, a skunk, a bunny, <laughs> a squirrel, and a beaver. Oh my gosh, those are so adorable. Okay, so I am going to do the bunny first because it's my favorite. I only have enough magnets to do five, unfortunately, but of course I'm going to go get some more and finish up the rest of these. They're so cute. So I'm going to angle my wire cutters in, see if I can get the back of this as flat as possible. And again, came out nice and flat when I angled those. Okay. Grab two more of these. I'm pretty sure you could glue, or not glue, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could stick five diamond paintings together with these magnets. That's how strong they are. This one doesn't have more than one layer to worry about having things sort of come apart, so. I don't have to worry about that quite so much. Little bunny. Okay, so viewer's choice. What are you guys gonna pick next? The squirrel, good choice. <laughs> He's adorable. He's great. If you hear a lot of um, rumbling and alarming noises in the background of my video, it's because they are digging up the road behind my house right now. They have been for about two weeks. And you know how road construction is. Um, mostly they've been working on it between 7 and 10 p.m. for some reason. But today they decided to work on it during the day. <laughs> it's better than at 10 p.m., I must say. My grip is giving out on me here a little bit. This one's extra tough. The squirrely friend. These little guys are so small, these wire cutters. Ugh. There we go. <laughs> Sent that one a long way. <laughs> Grab two more of these. All right, now this one does have more than one layer, so again, it could come apart. So I'm gonna glue right over where I cut the shank off. And just pop those on there. They had gazillions of options for these little buttons at my Joann's, so that was super fun to try to pick some out. All right, I have enough magnets to do two more. That means one little guy's gonna get left out, but viewer's choice again. The skunk, good choice. Invariably, I will um, not choose someone's favorite. I know I'll make someone sad. School is just getting underway here in Montana. My daughter's had their first week of their junior year this week and it was kind of rough um, their best friend since third grade moved away this summer so it's been a little bit lonely at school I know they're very friendly they'll make I know they'll make new friends and that'll all be just fine but the first day was a little rough <laughs> so Send them some good vibes, some good wishes. It's a hard time, and of course, sending some good vibes to their 
friend who moved too, because 11th grade is a hard time to to pick up and move to a new school. I think I'm going to put my magnet on this little skunky's head. That way, sort of get the biggest surface area to glue this magnet to. Okay. Got all the stringy glue there. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. All right, I only have I only have magnets for one more. Who should we pick? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. The beaver's little teeth are pretty awesome. But I think he has a little bit of paint missing on him, so I think I'm gonna go with the, the raccoon next. Since you never know, these might end up in a in a goodie bag somewhere. I want them to look pretty good, you know. All right. I knew they do make shank removers for buttons, but I don't have that item, so we're having to do this with fairy sized or like these are my gnome cutters, my gnome wire cutters. They're so small, only a gnome could really use them. All right, let's see, let's do glue on the body of this guy. Kind of go for the biggest area. There we go. So I'm gonna let these dry for maybe half an hour or so. I don't think it'll take quite that long, but just to be safe, I'll let them sit here for a little while and then I'll come back and we'll give it a test. All right, these cover minders have been drying for probably an hour actually. Um, so I'm gonna test out this first one that I glued and we're just gonna see how this goes. I would suggest letting this cure for a whole day probably um, before you do too much messing with it, just in my experience with E6000. But I'm gonna grab my huge drills and chills diamond painting here, and I'm just gonna snap this on. I don't have any paper cut, but maybe I'll just do it on the, on the diamonds there, and we'll see how this works out. Oh my gosh! That's awesome. That's going to work just great. And I also have over here a little cross stitch project that I have been starting on because I wanted to test out if this would work as a needle minder as well. And look at that. Just so cute. I think these buttons cost about $3.50 regular price. The magnets were $8 regular price for 12. So you do the math. It's a, and I, I got two cover minders out of one package and then like five out of the other. So that's a lot of needle minders for not a lot of money and a lot of cover minders. So I'm really pleased with how this came out. I hope you'll try your hand at this if you, like me, were having the diamond painting cover blues. <laughs> Let me know how it goes for you. As always, spread some joy wherever you are, and I will catch you next time. Bye.